for the psychos was, you know, was a lot of driving, a lot of flying, a lot of drinking, a lot of eating, and a lot of playing. But I, I just reckon that we had more fun than anyone else. The actual playing a gig was sort of like, oh fuck, we've got to play a gig now. It's a bit, a bit like a holiday. It's like having that Friday evening after work every day. Me and Ross were pretty juvenile, and the little stuff that we used to do to amuse ourselves would have annoyed the shit out of them. We would do things like who could go the longest without changing their socks. So you might have the old 26 day old socks, people's feet. It was fucking pretty rank. You used to get things bad. They, oh, they used to get hard and stand up. One of, uh, one of the favourite ones, and we used to get lots of people, was Nighty always used to carry one of those little sewing kits that you get. And always he would sit in the bus, say, or a van or whatever, he would sit at the back. And when people fell asleep or something, he'd stitch them to the seat. So when they wake up, they just go, bruh. We had this stupid night, where were we? Somewhere out east, and uh, I think it was me and Ross and Robbie and maybe Shannon was there, and it was, I mean, God, it was always like eighth grade stupid shit, and it was like, well, let's stay up all night and drink and see who falls asleep first. It was adult men. And uh, <laughs> uh, Robbie fell asleep early on and uh, was laying down on these uh, uh, chairs like this, like three of them, and he was laying face down on it as if it were a bed. And because he had fallen asleep, of course, you're fair game for anything. And for some reason, there was a smoked fish there. And I remember, uh, because he had fallen asleep, uh, Ross was putting a, a smoked fish in his ass. And uh, I just remember Robbie looked up and he had the nicest look on his face and he just smiled because he knew that he had fallen asleep and in fact deserved a fish stuck in his ass. And that face is always stuck because he just looks so pleasant. The Cosmic Psychos are always kind of drunk. That's the best way to describe them. They would seem to be able to just rah, drink beer and then like lay down for like 20 minutes and then wake up in the morning and be, hey, hey let's go do it again. And I'm like, oh man, I can't do it again. I'm at a party. No, I'm at a party. I'm just, I'm just taking a Get break. Okay, it just shows how broken he is. When I was in the Melvins, we played at um, the Nathan Factory in New York. He just happened to be there. And then we were playing and I looked and he was standing in the middle of the stage in front of us, flexing, and he had no pants on. And uh, uh, he had uh, a piercings in his penis and, and there was a beer hanging from it. It was quite startling, but it added quite a bit to the show. It took a lot of the pressure off me. Uh, being on tour with the Psychos is very funny. It's a never ending barrel of laughs. And it's also very drunk. And more often than not, drinking games get pulled out. My, one of my favourites involves a 50 cent coin. I hand you this and you can tell me what, what memories that brings back to you. Oh, this? Look at that. It's just like this. It's almost the same one I got in my pocket. Look at that. <laughs> what is it like? No, oh, that is. Well, that's the, that's the game ball right there. Don't mix them up, because this is my game ball. This is the game ball. <laughs> I didn't bring it. I have this with me at all times. You never know <laughs> we use the when corn. the game is about to begin. You know the game. The one you put between your butt cheeks? Oh, yeah, that's the game we play. <laughs> I don't know the name of it to this day. Yeah, there's not much to it. It's a simple game. So you just kind of take a breath, you know, focus. And then you, you um, kind of indulge yourself. Get a good grip on it. It's pretty important. And then there's a walk that you gotta do. And uh, the walk has to be done. It can't be dropped during the walk. Casual, casual, you see? Yeah. Oh, you did it! <laughs> But you made it. Wait, I've never seen it. You break it and it goes in? <laughs> I told you, man, I might break your glass. <laughs> I know, that's all. Right. But working on my glutes lately. Damn, now I'm done. So, the trick is to put it right up your ass <laughs> with the brown socks. 
And then walk over the glass. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>